Yeah, we'll probably do it in this order. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 57, Final Prep. In today's episode, we continued to get things ready, not only for our composition in C2442558, but also for a presentation next week, which includes uh, music in 3D. Um, we sorted out our two work areas. The chords now are in their whole standalone worksheet, which include the things we've been showing you more than once. And the figures are now in their own standalone area. So that helps us immeasurably going forward. And then we had a real fun time. Uh, we went, we jumped down to our animation and we ended up making another 3D shape, which is called the thin hollow tube. And we fiddled around with these uh, steady rotating things. And you just saw a little demo of that. So that was a lot of fun also. Um, even when the music isn't playing it, playing, the point is you can see uh, something moving. And when the music is playing, So it's a little silly and it was a lot of fun. So we're we're still gearing up for after we get enough compositional material under our belt, then we start doing the visual material and then let them keep interacting with each other. I mean, right now, the main thing that this is telling us is you need more parts. You've only got, we've only got uh, piano, cadence, backbone, polyphone, and they're all half notes. So now the really super duper part was we then, while we were in our 3D world, we were thinking, well, how are we going to better demonstrate this? Uh, oh, by the way, I'll show you where we, we were cleaning this area up a little bit too. Whoops. Come back, come back. It's easier if we do this. Over here. We, uh, this is the thin hollow tube that we used to make this animation. Let's just show it to you side by side because we always think that is just so fascinating. It is so fascinating that you can make stuff and, and then you know, bring it in. And right next to the hollow tube, of course, is the double, uh, the double pointy spear sphere thing the double sphere so this tube and this double pointy sphere are what we downloaded and put into the music animation that's not all there's more we went ahead and took our clickable chain which we did several streams ago which had all four scales that we're working with all four scales which is this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, and broke it out into playable audience kits that look like this. So each one is separated now. Why can't I hear anything? That's it. That's it. So that's choir one, scale one. And it comes with its own drum kit. Then we took the second scale. Now we have to, for some reason, we're reloading these. which is this. And it comes with its own drum kick. Yeah, anyway, you get the point. So now the idea is that um, 
For those that want to play separate notes, they can click on the scales. For those that want to play the drum, you can do that. And then for those that want to kind of add special effects like choir, can do that here. Pause, there it goes. Anyway, we had fun with that. Uh, we had to learn another new little script to put these little labels on there. So that concludes today's stream. Um, ideas for next time are to identify backbones and polyphones from the new chord sequences, which are these things. We did some of that today. We were going through and putting pauses in. More prep, including the layout and testing of the orchestra kits, audience interaction orchestra kits. I mean, it looks cool, but in practice, you know, this is the avatar. I'm kind of swamped by the size of it all. Do we need to separate them? I don't know. I don't know. You can hear a cool sound effect because from far away, the closer it comes, the louder it gets. We're being silly. But hey, that's half the fun. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Shout out to Yashwani for stopping by again. Yashwani is studying hard for their medical exams. We can only hope that this helps keep Yashwani focused. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>